<laughs> oh, Rust. Rust is not always so straightforward. Some wipes turn out to be amazing and everything goes right. Other wipes, it can take three hours to get a two by one down because every time you hit a barrel, someone kills you. You have to be able to take the good with the bad because not every wipe will be amazing. All the variables that come into play in a game like Rust can turn a 20 minute run for some scrap into a two hour mission just to get a revolver blueprint. Sometimes the grind can take a while for a solo like me. I have nobody to back me up in fights, nobody to farm for me, I have to do every single step on my own. Even simple things like cooking food or crafting items can take up a large portion of the small time I have to play during a wipe. But like any solo warrior, you have to keep trying. You have to keep going out into this gloomy world of rust to get what you need in the end. But it's never about the end for me. It's always about the journey we take getting there. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. We have a fresh server, no blueprints. Uh, we don't really have a specific plan. We're just gonna see where the wipe takes us. So let's go find it. Let's go see what happens and hopefully we have a good wipe. Now this is wipe night, of course. So it's gonna probably be a bit hectic. Hopefully we can still get something accomplished tonight. I would love to at least get a Revy tonight. So let's make that our main priority. All right, I need to pick somewhere to live. Uh, where do we want to live, man? I mean, you know, this is probably going to be a busy area right here, but let's go check that out. On my way over to the build spot, it turned nighttime. I was able to grab enough resources to make an ax before it did though, which was pretty cool. I hit trees under the cover of the night so we could put a quick base down. And you know, I was feeling good 15 minutes in. Our home, although it was fragile, was secure. And there we go. We got a little wooden shack down. Uh, let's hope it lasts, <laughs> at least for a little bit. We need to go get some stone, get our stuff together. I need to get some tier one stuff up. So we're going to go try to get all that. Ah, oh, shit. Listen, you guys got to leave because <laughs> they're coming. They're coming this way. Bro, chill. Chill out. Bro, chill, 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 chill. Bro, chill. You're doing too much. I saved your asses. Remember? Remember when I saved you? Now you, now you want to take all my stone. I stole their stone. I need it more, okay? I need it more. I don't care. Not much cloth out there in the world. We got 30 cloth. I mean, another 20 cloth. We'll be able to make a bow. 20 minutes in. Don't have a bow yet. Well, we had to get the base down, right? And look at that. We got our stone. We can upgrade real quick. I mean, we still have wooden doors, but we need to hurry up and get some furnaces in here. I'm super excited for the new industrial update to get uh, live. We need stuff to make a furnace and we need stuff for tier one. So we need to go out there and get that. I mean, we still need cloth for a bow. 10 cloth, but you know, let's go see if we can find it nearby. If I can make a bow real quick, that'd be nice before we go hit the road because you know the road is where they're all gonna be at well look at that ask and you shall receive boys that's how it goes life is willing to pay whatever you ask of it remember that <laughs> you're getting deep on me hutch i know just a little it's been a while it's been a while since we did a video like this Nice, nice and easy. Let's get these bone frags. Maybe we'll find a bear while we're out here. Get lucky, get one of them one tap bears. That'd be cool. All right, let's head over to the road here over by water. See if there's any barrels, anything we can get some scrap from real quick. Maybe we find another naked out there farming. Somebody's over here farming a tree. Damn! Okay, so I lost the fight. No big deal. I headed back out to try to get scrap for the tier one when I came across this nice fella here. 
Look at his cool skeleton helmet. <laughs> so we went back out. I gathered enough stuff at this point to head back to the outpost to recycle so I could go home and make the tier one. Hopefully we could get this show rolling. Take the zip line, start headed back home. We could depot most of this stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm one scrap away from a tier one, so definitely bring this stuff home. Snag this. Oh, we got some pipes, some scrap. I'll take it. That gives us tier one. Well, we probably will need some frags. I'm going to try to hit outpost on the way home. Uh, just Let's just hope we can make it. All right, we're getting all this stuff scrapped up. We're going to be getting some cloth here, which is super dope. Um, You know, I'll recycle two of these. We'll keep the rope so we can make crossies. Hey, who said we couldn't get cloth? Look at that. 265 cloth. Let's go. There's a guy out here farming stone. I wonder if I can snatch him up real quick without getting shot by outpost. I think it'd be far enough away. Hey, what up? All right, well now I'm low on health. We got we got a metal hatchet and a metal pickaxe though that could be huge. I mean, they're right at the top of the tier one, so whatever. But I already have some. <laughs> Got a couple guys here. No, not my metal pickaxe, man. Come on, that's two hits. All right, one down. Headshot on him, he's dead. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No shit. What's he got? Not much, but... <laughs> let's go, bro. I'll take it. It's not much, but I'll take it. All right, well, we got enough stuff to make the tier one, so let's get that crafted at least. All right, tier one is down. We have a crossy. We're going to make a ninja suit. And then as soon as it starts turning daytime, we're going to go find some metal. There's tons of sulfur, but there's just not a lot of metal. As soon as I say that, one pops up. As <laughs> soon as I say that, two metal nodes pop up. I'm going to grab these two nodes, and I'm bringing it all back home. I mean, it's going to get us started. It's going to keep us with crossies. It's going to get us yokas, whatever we need to get started. What's going on here, though? Fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna just farm this node, bro. Come on. It's his buddy. He's got a DB though, damn it. I missed! I hit him again, come on! No, the DB, the DB, no! Ah, uh, GG. We both missed. You can't go to outpost, stupid. I got him! That's his base, ain't it? Ooh, ooh! Nice. Absolutely. Perfect. We need some wood for this metal, but we did get a bunch of stuff here. You know, it's all prim stuff and you know, whatever, but it helps. Oh, dome sounds fun. You know what? Let's go see if we can make a play. Screw it. Hold on. There's a body here, but there's also somebody that just ran by. Just down somebody. Now I'm the one down here about to get murdered. No! No way. I just need to go. I need to get the fuck out of here. I have a Revy. I need the blueprint. It would save me a lot of time and scrap. 
fuck, somebody's right in front of me. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm literally fucked. I got people shooting at me with arrows. I'm gonna have to take my chance with the arrow guy. Damn it! What a loss. What a loss. Come on, he's down, right? He just had a regular bow, man. Come on. We got a DB, we got a DB. Come on, come on. We lost the Revy, can we keep the DB? Oh, he gets the DB home. Huge, huge. I mean, it's not a Revy, but it'll, it'll do, okay? It'll do. After I got the DB home, I hit the road to try to get some quick scrap. The thing is, since it was wipe night, there was nothing left for me. All I could find was a bunch of red barrels and maybe one or two loot barrels. I kept running into players like this guy as well. He took all my health and I had no heals, so I had to run to the outpost to recycle for cloth, which took up another 10 minutes of my time. This wipe was proving to be a slow grind, but hey, that's rust, especially when you're solo. All right, we got the cloth cooking up in the bandies. Let's go, we're gonna have to get some health. There's just not much loot out on the road today. Everybody's taking it right out from under me. I got a little bit of stuff on me, but I see this kind of naked right here with a bow. I missed, damn it. There's a guy right here. I gotta run. There's too many. Damn it! Look, there's three of them, dude. Uh, uh, there's nothing I can do. GG, man. GG, boys. I think somebody's in here. No shit. Uh, he, ain't, he ain't got nothing. Bro. Oh, uh, literally nothing. Damn, not even enough wood to make a TC. Hey, I got a paddle though. Why does he just have a custom? <laughs> Why is he just out here with a custom? Rough start, rough start. I mean, we have the DB to research. As soon as we can get enough scrap, it's just finding <laughs> scrap to even get in the first place without there being 700 other people around it, you know? And then being able to get it home. All right, round 789 of trying to get some scrap. <laughs> nothing. There's nothing here. All right, let's go over to water. Yeah, there was just a couple barrels. Big whoop. Literally anything that has scrap is like missing from the roads. All of it. He is a naked butt. He has a Revy and I don't. From from distance, man, while I'm getting shot at, it's just not a good idea, unfortunately. He went down! Oh, it's whoever's on this roof. Fuck, now he's got the Revy. I killed the guy outside their base. I just shouldn't push it. I shouldn't fucking do it. I shouldn't do it.
Damn it, now I got two of them. This isn't this ain't good. I need to run, he's got a nail gun. There's so many of them doing so many different things. And they keep coming out of the base. They're not on timer or nothing. You know what, dude? I'm just going to depot, man. All right, well, we got home with that run. Holy moly. You see what you gotta do just to get a little bit of scrap, man? <laughs> This server is going crazy. I mean, what? We got 20 scrap out of all of that. A little bit of like prim stuff. Just groups of threes and groups of fours. There's like no solos out here. I mean, there's a couple. Don't get me wrong, but man. called me a cheater i'm not cheating buddy there's no way you seen me even coming up to you and you just peeked that corner and shot bro i heard you i heard you man too bad he didn't have something better dude Ugh. i mean hey we got a hazzy out of it we got a water pipe oh my gosh that guy i killed earlier the guy i killed earlier that i never and i never checked his body look at this He's out here still. Oh, he's definitely going to think I'm a hacker now. He has a Revy, but the only problem is his buddies. I couldn't find the Revy fast enough, dude. <laughs> well, as you can see, things are not going our way this way. I decided to call it a night and got two quick stone notes to throw in the TC for upkeep. Hopefully, tomorrow will be better. All right, well, we're back for night two. Base is still intact. That's a real good sign. You know, we're still here. I hear somebody jumping around out there. It sounds like somebody built a base literally right next to me. So let's just go out here and see what's going on first before we do anything. Wow. Wow. Hey, uh, since you live so close to me that I can literally hear every little secret you keep inside of those locked small boxes in there. Um, I'm your neighbor. I just logged on. I'm right next door. You want to you wanna come see which one's mine? I don't know if you're friendly, if you're pissed at me already. If you've been having a bad day or a good day, you know, if, if I'm dead on sight or if we can like, uh, you know, maybe, you know, come up with some type of agreement here. What do you think, buddy? I, I hear you. What, what are you doing in there? Well, I, I need something. I need, I need you to say something. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I have nothing. I have nothing. Sorry. I don't want anything from you. I don't I don't want loot. I'm your neighbor. I'm here to let you know I'm I just logged on. I have nothing. That's I, true. That's true, okay? Oh my god. All right. I don't know what the hell is going on with that guy. <laughs> I'm going to try not to kill him. I mean, I don't even know what his name is or anything, but I'm not going to go over there and door camp him. I don't like door camping my neighbors like in the media area, you know? It just makes coming home, it just makes everything harder. We need to research this double barrel is what we need to do. So let me make a research table real quick. What's double barrel? I think it's 125. If it is, we gotta go get a little bit of scrap. It is 125, so we gotta go get 11 scrap or something or you know, whatever. So let's get out here. Uh, I'm gonna bring a regular bow out at first because I'm just I'm not super confident right now 
I don't know if this guy's gonna come door camp me or what, so I'm gonna just bring this and uh, something to hit a few barrels with. Okay, I'm leaving my base again. I'm, I'm running past your base. We're gonna go run over to Outpost, recycle this computer, bring the scrap back home, research that DB. Hopefully we have enough stuff to craft one. And then, uh, I don't know, let's go try to make a play. All right, we made it home with the scrap. What do you know? Big moves happening right here. And we got the pipes. Boom. Learn blueprint. All right, we got that. Ooh, Millie crate, Millie crate, Millie crate. Get down, get down. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, just some pipes. I was hoping for a saw. There's a guy with a spear here, but I just heard a bunch of shooting. Is that his base? Don't be your base. Don't be your base. I missed. That's his base. Maybe it's not his base. He is kind of loaded. Oh, there's two other guys. No. No, DB versus DB, he won. Damn it. Close one. Oh, he had a pumpy. He had a pumpy. That's why. GG. You know, it's like every time soon as I kill somebody that has stuff I need, I get killed. I got him. No way. No way, this dude had a little bit of loot. I think that body has more loot. Somebody's in this grass. I know one of these guys had a bow. What is going on? I gotta go depot. Sweet. I got this stuff home. Hundred something leather, dude. Needed that. Needed that, needed all this stuff. But there is some more action going down out there. I almost kind of want to go try to get that Revy. I think I'm going to leave the kit though. I'm going to leave the kit. Just take the water pipe, try to get the Revy. Fuck, I'm too close to him. How come every time I try to get this Revy, man? Nobody have a Revy? So what you're telling me there is is nobody had a Revy out of all them guys. Hey, it's your neighbor. Okay, so it's possible that I killed the neighbor so he was mad at me. It was this shot at me though that made me realize we were not friendly. I knew this could cause issues with me leaving the base and coming home. He also ends up having two more teammates come online for a three-man squad. I handled this the best way I know how, by door camping and being toxic. <sighs> All right, boys. All right, man. I'll just door camp you the rest of the fucking night. I thought we were going to be cool. I 
I just got a nail gun, another crossy. I mean, it's all prim shit. No scrap. But we got something to play around with. Fuck, he has a... He has a Revy! Thought we was gonna be friendly, dude. Now I'm gonna door camp you the rest of the night. I killed him, but he closed the door too fast. Well, I guess this is what our night has become. Cause we have neighbors that won't leave us alone. We got people coming back from wherever. It's not looking good for blueprints this way, but I'm not telling you, geez. Unless one of these guys have scrap. Then we're not really getting what we need here. <laughs> Why is there so many of you, man? Why are you guys constantly here? Go away. Why'd you kill my friend? Who's your friend? My friend, you killed me. Hey, dude. You're on my goddamn property, okay? I shoot to kill. Bro, fuck your property. Fuck you! My property. No, the fuck it ain't. You're just gonna sit outside and and. Come out here and pay your fucking. Taxes. Nah, dude. You're just gonna sit outside and run around and say a bunch of words until I inevitably pay ignore your you. And then once I start ignoring you, you're gonna leave because you'll get bored and you'll have to move on to the next poor son of a bitch with the two by one. Nah, bro. Just pay your taxes. Nah, bro. You was about to leave and you turned all the way the fuck around to come say that. And you know you're not getting shit. Come on. No, dude, you're going to have to fucking raid me. I'm the last motherfucker to give you anything. I don't have shit. I have a small box in here with a half of a prim kit. Can I get a break? I have one water pipe that I had to fight for three days to get. Nah, bro, there's, a, there's some hazzy coming over here. I killed him. Yeah, I killed the other one. That had to have been... <laughs> has to be their base, right? It's gotta be their base, dude. I just smoked them fools, man. Oh, we got guys over... Dude, I gotta do it. I mean, look at this. And they got resources. He's dead. Yeah, he's not saving you anytime soon. Sorry. I need it. I'm sorry. Well, I didn't get much. I got a Hazzy that I can't repair. <laughs> you know what? Give me this. We're going out with the kit. I mean, if there's, there's PVP out here, I don't, there's nothing else I can do, dude. I can't get nowhere. I can't get, find no scrap because I can't get far enough. We're not doing, we're not doing very well, but this area is just crazy, man. I tricked him. I need to get in. I'm going to die. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Dude, it's like I can't even leave the base at this point, boys. You know? I mean, it is what it is. There's always like nine people, too. There's never just one or two. So I was finally able to get out and get a little bit of loot. It wasn't much, but with the scraps and comps, it was about 200 scraps. When I got back home, the neighbor was outside and they were expanding their airlock. I couldn't resist the headshot, so I took his kit and went inside the depot. Finally, a decent run. Fuck, dude, now I gotta deal with these guys again. He's new though. I gotta hurry up and get back out.
<laughs> I don't feel bad either. I told them. I told them they were getting door camped all night. I just wanted to be friendly, you know? We're locked though, man. How do they keep coming back so fast? They have so many bags. I was about to get trapped in there, but like I should have just I should have just got trapped in there, dude. That's what I should have did, huh? You remember earlier when I came over here and I was like, hey man, I'm just letting you know I'm I'm online and I'm your neighbor and Alright, we'll leave them alone for a minute until they start messing with me again, I guess. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> good attempt, boys. Good attempt. Oh, hey. <laughs> See, I was going to leave. I was going to bring my damn, uh, all my comps out with me and go recycle. Thank god I didn't. I mean, I killed him, but... Bro, what the fuck, bro? Really, I can't believe I got that. Bro, are bro, you how, serious, though? how did you let me get that, bro? Bro, you you moved me because you jumped on my yeah, head. Yeah, but how didn't you fix it in time? Bro, yeah, I couldn't do anything. I was pressing forward and the shit was still Yeah, 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 boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Yeah, 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 boy. Bro, at least it was only <laughs> one fuse, dude. It was only one fuse. You'd be all right. Yeah, Get my shit back, please. Absolutely not. Bro, that's like the first time in like a hundred times I've I've accomplished it, okay? Congratulations, Jesus. asshole. Dude, it's one fuse. You're gonna be all right. I promise. There ain't been scrap around. There ain't been loot on the roads. There ain't been nothing at water. We couldn't do dome the, when we tried. How much you want for that SAR, huh? Huh? A little... 122 scrap do it for you Zar, what you got you got you you want a little 100 122 scrap you know a little 122 my ass bro bro what are you talking about it's a sar and it's three days in the white you need help i can't even get a fucking revy well, oh, they won't let help. me do you want a revy, want a revy? Y yes yeah. stay here give me give me give me 10 minutes i'll be back and i'll Ah, uh, no, dude. I, I, no, no. I'm, I, n listen. I've done that. Whoa! Whoa! I promise. Whoa! I promise you. I promise you. Stay there for 10 minutes and for a second. Please, I'll give you a break. Bro, I've done the waiting thing before and they never come back. Ever. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I don't know, dude. You know, do we wait for him? Do we wait a couple minutes for this guy? Just to see if he comes back with a Revy. Well, look at that. He actually did come back. This is a rare occurrence at Rust, but he stuck to his word and he threw me the Revy. This was huge for us. It would allow us to skip most of tier one tech tree. This guy is officially a legend. You actually came back with a Revy. What a legend. Here, why don't you, uh... You know, just for your kindness there, why don't you take this 15 scrap, huh? Yeah? There is no fucking way we just somehow got a revolver fucking around at the outpost. <laughs> we're, we're gonna die with it on the way home! You just watch, dude. I'm not meant to have this revolver. I mean, we've been trying all wipe to get a revolver. It was that easy fucking around at the, at the outpost? Can he get it home? Dude, this has been a long time in the making. This has been a long time in the making. I mean, we got the neighbors next door. Their door camping me now. Like, I don't know. It's a, we might get it home. We might not. I mean, granted, they're not very good, but they do exist. They're literally just sitting in their fucking windows, dude. What are you guys doing, bro? Y'all gotta chill. 
<laughs> Y'all really gotta chill. <laughs> Y'all are literally just sitting in your windows while I'm gone. I wasn't even here. Nothing really special happened the rest of the night. I fought the neighbor some more. Went and farmed a few nodes so I could upgrade the base. Came back, fought the neighbors some more. And then I had to deal with them while I was upgrading the base as well. But I did get it done. I spent some time around Dome getting loot finally without getting killed so we could save up for a tier two. If I could at least get SAR blueprint this wipe, I'd be happy. And we are back unrated. Love to see it. I mean, would you look at it? We organized last night. And by the way, guys, I'm only playing for like three, three and a half hours a night. You know, because uh, I was thinking about it. I'm like, night three, tier one. But like, <laughs> you, you've seen it all, right? You've seen everything we've died to, how hard it's been to get out there and even find loot. Even when we do get to places, you know, even getting loot there is just, it's been a pain in the ass. I hear SARS out here. I hear just all kind of shit. We're going to have to see what our neighbors have been up to. Uh, yeah, they might be a problem. I mean, let's be honest. They definitely might be a problem. We're going to see. Oh, okay. They built up again. These guys never did shit. I mean, they might have blueprints now. They might have uh, stuff, like they might've actually went and farmed. All right, so the main order of business is tier two. We're not getting that far this wipe, but like, <laughs> I gotta keep reiterating, like you've seen how it's gone. I'm still having a good time though. I had a lot of fun yesterday with that PVP. Even though it was prim PVP, it was still a lot of fun. Well, I definitely can't run over towards dome because, well, I guess I could. Let's go around, dude. Yeah, we're going to go around. Why haven't I thought of this sooner? Well, to be honest, I thought this base down here that was killing us the first day, I thought they were going to be more of a problem. So I kept kind of staying away from their base. And then you got all the bases down there in the valley. All them valley bases, man. Every time I go down there, there's like three nakeds on top of one. It's bullshit. And they're not even nakeds. I meant like prims. It's always prim people down here big groups well let's hope they don't see me right let's hope they just don't shoot at me i don't think they'd really kill me from that far with a sar or even multiple sars they might hit a couple shots and then i gotta use meds and this and that i mean look this whole dirt road patch here no loot nothing oh great well that sounds like a db that means i stand a chance Right? Look at that. Fire bullets, dude. Do I use the fire bullets? Like, are those better than regular bullets? I mean, he was over here shooting incendiary shells. It's only right that I fight fire with fire, right? I don't even know if, like, the person's still here. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We have a situation here. What's going on here? I'm confused. I think this guy was, like, on his way down from dome. He got DB'd. The guy like grabbed it and maybe ran off that way or the other way or whichever way I didn't go. <laughs> That's what seems to have happened here. All right. Well, I mean, let's get some loot. We need a tier two. It would be cool to maybe get some Molotovs, do a little Molly raid and see if we can get some easy loot. That'd be cool. I have a feeling I'm going to get got by this fucking DB guy. He's probably going to come back, try to make another play. It'd be really nice to get a SAR tonight because... <laughs> We need it, man. We really need it. Are they really just going to have the pig sit there? Seriously? This has he definitely seen me, right? Well, now he knows. Are you serious, bro? I think I was going to have him and I reloaded and it reloaded the fire bullets. It didn't reload a full reload of the regular bullets. Damn it. I knew I shouldn't use them fire bullets, man. I knew that shit was going to screw me somehow, some way. Yeah, that was my own fault, man. I don't know. I don't know. It reloaded the three incendiary bullets I still had. It's 
Somebody's on this rock, too. Fuck, I'm fucked. No, I had to try, bro. I had to try. But, you know, when you only got a Revy, I mean, I've seen people make amazing plays with Revies, but not this guy. <laughs> not this fucking guy. I'm going to tell you that. All right. Well, we're ready for another round. Yet another round. We're not going towards dome again. I mean, we just keep dying doing that. Let's, uh, fuck, dude. Airfield's in the snow. Oh, uh, fuck it. Let's head over down towards airfield. Big ass base to my left and I, it looks like somebody's looking at me. Looks like I'm getting aimed at. Absolutely not, dude. I hit him three times. Killed him, but that sniper's up there, man. No way! <laughs> 200 something scrap, bro. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be allowed to keep this. I wanna loot these bodies, though. I'm out. Dude, this 200 something scrap could be game changing. I think this is what I need for tier two. Please do not let me run into these fucking SAR guys out here in the field. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I don't need. All right, dude, let's go, 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 go. Literally game changing. Let's go, get to the base, get to the base. Get to the base. Let's fucking go, bro. Game changing. Please tell me that's what I need for tier two. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, just 50 short, but I got comps. I got comps. We are good. So our next move right now is to go recycle. All we need is 50 scrap, so I'm going to just bring some basic shit and go try to recycle and bring it back. All right, we made it to the outpost. I am gonna go around and farm the outpost real quick because we still need blueprints on the tier two. So I'm gonna just get whatever I can while I'm here and then uh, we'll get back to you. All right, I didn't really get too much at the outpost, but we did get some stop signs, some pipes, a box or two, some couple barrels. So we'll scrap all this up, go home and see where we're at. I know we're gonna have tier two, that's the biggest, that's the biggest win of the fucking wipe so far. All right, let's get this tier two down. Finally, after what? Six and a half hours, we have tier two. Let's go. <laughs> All right, can I even get my first blueprint though? Can I? Uh, yeah, I can. Let's do it. Yep. All right. Now, how much do I need at least a sap pistol? 700 scrap. 775 for Molly. All right, well, let's go see, man. Let's go see what we can do. We have 41 scrap. We'll just have to get out here. We're going to wait for morning, and then we're going to head out. See if we can't come across another 200 scrap play. That'd be nice. That's the thing about airfield, though. Airfield never has loot. Oh, as soon as I say that, two boxes. Yeah, but it never has the good loot, right? And some people come, and the clans come, and they just take the milli crates. And then you're left with all brown boxes. Watch, there's going to be a bunch of milli crates, and I'm going to look like an idiot. I would love to see, like, a custom. You know, do I run the entire thing? I have to, right? I got to run the entire thing, right? But, I mean, at the same time, it could screw me. I mean, right now, we have over 100 scrap. See, dude. See, man. Where did that? See, man. I should have just ran back the other way instead of doing the whole thing. I should have just 
Went back the way I came. I mean, he still would have seen me anyway, and he had AK, I guess. Damn it. GG. All right, we'll go over to power plant. Is there a box? Yes, there is. Come on, custom. Custom. Customer Python. Customer Python. Oh, computer. Hey, another milli. Let's go. AK body. I mean, hey, that's scrap. That's better than uh, nothing. It's better than four pipes. Another milli. Another AK body. What? We're going to get murdered here. Absolutely getting murdered here. I should leave. I say this every time. I say it. I should leave, but. We got to try to get the content for the people, right? Met up from it. Another Millie Crate Sap Pistol. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I am leaving. I don't care what anybody says. I am out. Now, I know the Sap Pistol is no big feat or anything, but it's a lot better than it used to be, and it's not a Revy. That's its main purpose. <laughs> it's not a Revy. And on my way into power, I grabbed some barrels and some boxes and stuff. So we have a decent amount of scrap on us, decent amount of loot. We have enough stuff right now to make it worthwhile running back. Okay. Sap pistol. Let's go. Holy shit. I made it home with the sap pistol. All right. Let's research this sap pistol. I believe it's only 125. Where's our research table? Then we're going to make sap pistols. Yeah, 125. Let's go. Nice. All right, before I grab any loot around here, I'm going up dome. And then if there's nothing on dome, we'll farm the stuff around it. There's, there's somebody here. I think he, like, jumped off the side and ran away. Yeah, I think he jumped off this, landed on this, and ran away. I mean, technically, he could be over here recycling. He is. All right, I got his recycler, but he's still in here. I just don't know if he has a DB in there or what. All right, got him, got him, got him. No way, dude. My boy was loaded. He had pistol bullets, but no gun? This dude had like 200 scrap, three tech trash, that's 60. Four gears, that's 40. Yeah, he ran dome for us, basically. All right, finally recycling the juicy loot. Hopefully we get enough scrap to at least, I don't know, get us somewhere. All right, we're leaving Bandit with 465 scrap. Nice chunk of metal frags as well. And that was, a lot of that was from uh, what we just got off the guy from Dome, so. That's dope. Okay, so that was a good play. But at this point, I had lost all hopes for a good wipe. I just wanted to get my SAR blueprint to have an easy start for the next wipe. I kept going out and gathering loot until I had enough to research the Molotov. I did two flame raids and neither one had profit, so no luck there either. One good thing that happened was I ran to Dome to get milli crates and found a SAR in one of the boxes. I brought it home and researched it and did some train tunnels. After train tunnels, I came home and used whatever scrap I could to get more blueprints like garage door and road sign kits. And that's about it. Nothing special happened. I didn't get to kill anyone with the SAR, and I mean, I could have kept playing more of the white, but I felt like I was so far behind at this point and had already played for three nights in a row, sometimes you just have to call it. Sometimes the solo Rust Warrior must accept his defeat and rest. But this has been how, at least for this white, I stayed Primlocked. Thanks for watching.